All right, Chris, <coughs> give me a letter. What is your A value? Four. A is four. <coughs> what does that do? Um, Vertical or horizontal? Um, no, 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 vertical. vertical what? Stretch or compression? Uh, compression or a stretch? Stretch is correct. Reason why it's a stretch is the value is greater than one. Um, by a factor of four, they call it. By a factor of four. Thank you, Chris. Marissa? How about this one, negative five? Inside or outside? Correct? Okay. What letters are on the outside? A and D is correct. So is it an A or a D? D. D equals negative 5. Okay, what does that mean, Marissa? Yes. How is it going to move? What is it going to do to our graph? This one's going to move, where class? Down five. Wally? I already got D. A B? Okay, why did you say B? Why did you say C? So your C value, is it positive 3 or negative 3? If you write it right above, you'll see that you have x minus, so C is equal to 3. That's going to go which direction, class? This is going to be right 3 units. Okay. Now, the students who are confused about the B and the C, let me tell you the difference. <coughs> The difference between the B and the C is the C is to the right. Everyone say right. Inside the parentheses is to the right of the X. If you see anything to the left, that would be the letter B. Okay, we just did describe the letters. Okay, let's create a rule now. Remember, our rule is 1 over B, so we don't have a... B value, do we have a C value? So we can write X minus 3, right? Remember the rule says uh, X minus C, so you should have your formula sheet out. What's your A value class? 4, so we have 4 times Y, what? Minus 5, so that's my rule. Okay. Here's the hard one. The last one says a specific equation. My specific equation is m of x, just copy the second one down, equals 4 times p of x minus 3 minus 5. Class, what's your p value? p of x is equal to x to the third, okay? So they're saying put 4 times x to the third minus 5. Okay, here's the hard part. They want us to do a second substitution. They're saying every x value in P, you're going to put in x minus 3. So now I have 4 times x minus 3 cubed minus 5. 
but there's more. How would you expand x minus 3? You're going to have to write it out three times. And it wants you, when it says a uh, specific equation, that's telling you actually to multiply that out. You're basically going to do foil or the box, and then you're going to do a rectangle. Let me do the first one, you guys will do the second one. Actually, you know what? Let me just help you fill it out. Okay. What did you put it for the orange box? That is correct. All right, Waleed, here's the harder part. Should we multiply or add? Multiply. Correct. Help us multiply. Yes. 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 Correct. Wally, go ahead and combine like terms for us. Raise your hand if you got the orange box. Okay. Now, the x minus 3 here, I'm just writing over here. So, Walid multiplied first, and then he added or combined like terms. I would probably say one, um, probably pretty high. Three out of four students miss this problem on your quiz that I'm passing out right now on the back side. Brittany, help us multiply. X cubed. Here. Uh, this one here, Brittany. Negative 27. Thank you. Let's now add. Rudy? Can I combine anything with x cubed? Correct. What else? What do you get? Negative 3 minus 6. I borrow $3 from you, and then I borrow $6 from you. I would love to pay you $3 back. Negative 9x squared. We don't do anything to the powers of 2. Rita. What do you get? 27 what? Just the x. Remember, we're adding, so we just add the numbers in front. And then the minus 27. Okay, we're not done with the problem yet. Almost there. They're telling us we just expanded x minus 3 times x minus 3 times x minus 3. Now I'm going to multiply by 4 in all of these. So I'm basically distributing to each one of those. So I get 4x cubed minus 36x squared uh, plus uh, 108x minus 108. And then this was the common mistake for last year. Students forgot about this minus 5. So notice how I keep repeating it. So if I just subtract 5, which is basically right there, my final answer is 4x to the third minus 36x squared plus 108x minus 100 and that should be a 13. Let's make that a 13. So to review in this problem, what we did, I looked at it, I identified the letters, and then described them. I created a rule, and then I'm making this specific equation. Basically, I'm doing a substitution, p of x, and then every x value had to be x minus 3. 
X minus 3 cubed is written out three times, and basically you're using FOIL or your boxes. Don't forget to distribute the 4 and then subtract 5.